Uh, the, the container flips everywhere, chicken goes flying, lands on top of the garbage can, juices go everywhere, and I am furious at this point. Hi guys. I guess uh, welcome to episode two of Watch Acorn Grow. That's what I named it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, the, the acorn thing that that comes from uh, my best friend in the Marines. One day he called me Acorn because uh, my attention span was kind of like everywhere, like, uh, you know, like a squirrel and that just kind of translated to Acorn. And I, I don't know, I kind of embraced it. Uh, uh, you know, even to the point where like I have a, a tattoo right there, a little Acorn. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to implement that into this into this video. You know, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh man, how can I come up with this 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 cheesy saying? You know, like let's let's grow out of the dirt together. You know, because it's yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but but uh, you know, because an acorn is essentially a seed, right? For like a mighty oak. And I was like, man, that, you know, that's that's nice. It's a double meaning. Blah blah. So, you know, I was, I was thinking about it and I just kind of put it on the back burner. And one day I was reading the Bible and uh, I was in Luke, uh, what was it? Luke 8. Uh, and uh, basically Jesus was talking about, uh, he was saying a parable about a farmer sowing seed. And, I, and as soon as I started reading that, I was like, okay, you're talking to me here. Like, I'm listening. Come on. And, uh, and so, so I, so I continued reading and, and I'm going to paraphrase here, forgive me, I don't, I don't remember it verbatim, but, uh, so he, he, he was saying that the farmer was sowing seed and some of the seed just kind of fell onto the path and it got like trampled on and, and, and birds came and ate it up and stuff, you know, it was never even had a chance to, to, to germinate, to grow, um. And then some of the other seed fell onto like the rocky pavement or the road or the rocks. And uh, yeah, they were able to sprout, but, but as soon as they did, they withered away because their roots didn't have any foundation to, to really grab onto, you know, to get nutrients. Uh, and, and then the other seed fell into some soil, but within the thorns, right? So it was able to sprout and kind of grow a little but the thorns just was surrounded and choked it out, so it wasn't able to produce anything, right? And the, the last of the seed were, that was sown into the good soil was able to, to sprout and produce 100 times more than what was sown, right? And, and I knew right then that God was telling me to, to that's what you need to strive for, is to... Is to Make sure your soil is well fertilized. Make sure it's good and clean and, 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 and free of anything. So, so when, when the seed is sown, that it can sprout and produce you know, good trees that produce good fruit. And I'm, really, that's just what I'm striving to do is I'm trying to produce good fruit. I don't wanna, I don't wanna uh, uh, stray anybody, you know, uh, uh, drift or, or myself or my family. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, be this new man that God, uh, you know, created me to be. Uh, so, so yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, this past week, uh, I've, uh, I was felt a little distant uh, from God, uh, and it kind of, you know, kind of bummed me out. You know, I, um, you know, I, I was so, so like sprinting towards him, and I haven't stopped sprinting. But, but I don't know. It just seemed like the finish line, you know, it was further and further away. Like almost like he was fading away. I, I wanted. I, I just, I just, I'm desiring that, that, that tingling holy spirit just dropped to your knees feeling and praise and and i, I just wasn't getting it anymore and um you know i i, I would just kind of kind of be there and just ask hey where are you at you know where, why why aren't you here with me right now and and uh and he kind of he led me to the sermon uh that i was watching uh by stephen furtick and and he said He's speaking of the parable that I that I was just talking about, 
Uh, and and so he was just basically the gist of it uh, of what he was saying was let the dirt do the work, right? And 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 even though like no no nobody plants a seed right in in a in a pot of soil like you, you if you have a physical pot of soil and you get your seed and you put it in right and you, and you and you water it and you know the it's good soil and you set it on the windowsill nobody just just sits there and just stares at it you know waiting for it to sprout no you, you, if you just sit there, you're gonna go crazy because you'll be like, oh, nothing's happening. I don't see this thing sprouting. Is it even working? Oh, should I just give up? I'm just gonna throw this away. I don't even know why I tried, right? And, and that's really what the enemy is trying to get you to do, right? But you just gotta keep that faith and just know, hey, I plant, the, the seed is planted, right? I just need to water it, make sure the soil is good, and it'll happen, right? God's doing the work here. All because you don't see it in front of your face, right? He's he, miracles are happening, even though it's not completely visible and obvious to you, right? The important thing is, is just keep the faith. Keep your faith in God and He will provide, right? Um, especially in times when, when it, you just feel like, like there's just so many roadblocks and distractions uh, and just the mess right in front of you. You have to keep that faith, right? Because the enemy, that's what he's just trying to do. He's, the, the devil's trying to, trying to just break you down and, and, and just make you think that you, can't, that you just can't do it or whatever it may be, right? Uh, for instance, <laughs> just, just when I was trying to figure out how to put out my first video, right? Uh, everything was going wrong uh in my family you know that there were scares and threats of, of different things but but uh even physically of just trying to figure out how to edit the video like i'm not a video editor obviously uh no which i'm, I'm working on it all right give it cut me a break uh but but even just trying to figure that out like my computer wasn't wasn't working or it wasn't i don't know it just wasn't working right with the editing software and then I found some editing software that I was able to to use and kind of understand better but then boom I had to like my video was too long and I had to pay for for the thing like a lot of money and I was like oh man what is going on man it's, 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 the the devil just does not want this video going out I'm, t I'm telling you everything was going wrong to just distract me and and delay this video uh even to the point to where like I was in the midst of editing and I was cooking and, and <laughs> I, mean, I got so angry that, that I found out the cheese that I put into the food that I was making was bad. Like it smelled bad, bad. And, and I didn't notice it until after I already put it in. So that the food that is already melted in there, I had to get rid of it. I was furious, right? And uh, I just knew, I just knew that, uh, you know, he's trying to get under my skin. You know? See, and that's the thing, like he, he's constantly trying to get under your skin, right? He's trying to pick at our scabs, right? And, and what he doesn't realize is that our wounds are already healed. There is no scab to pick, right? So he's just going to keep trying and keep trying. And you tell him, hey, get behind me, okay? And he, yeah, he may, but he's going to look for another opportunity to come picking at you. I mean, he did it to Jesus, so he's for sure going to do it to you, right? So... So he's just going to keep picking and picking at your scab. And even, even if he does pick deep enough for me and gets his claws underneath my skin and breaks the skin, the only blood he's going to see from me is the blood of Jesus. All right. So that food is gone. So I just, you know, continue to push on and try forward. So I get some leftovers. And uh, it was some chicken, like the last piece of chicken that I had. Uh, and it was in a container. And I, and I go to, you know get out of the fridge and go to make it and I, I just lose grip of the container and and uh that's a container flips everywhere chicken goes flying lands on top of the garbage can juices go everywhere and i am furious at this point and i'm just like come on man like cut me a break jesus just give me this the strength to get through this and i i just had to you know just chill out for a second i stepped back and i smiled and and I just realized like God was just talking to me and like, hey, when 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 the devil makes a mess in your life, 
you just gotta step back, smile in his stupid little face, and wipe the floor with him. Because you are just, you, you have Jesus in you, around you. He, he's got your back, and he's gonna clean it. You know what I mean? He's gonna clean everything. He, 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 he is the holy pine salt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's gonna get rid of everything. And by the time, like, I was wiping the floor, I was wiping the trash can, and I was laughing out loud, you know. Uh, I was by myself in the house. Son's asleep, and I'm just cracking up. And, and I just can't believe all that was going on. But I was just I was just so deep in faith to where I'm like, you can't soil me. You know, you can't, you, you can't, you may try to make a mess, but God's going to clean it up. He's already cleansed me, right? You, you, you may be able to spill, but you're never going to stain. Right? So I'm laughing. I'm like, I'm wiping you away, blah, 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 in the name of Jesus, all this. And it, it was pretty wild. But I, I just realized that, that God was really speaking to me and saying, like, you know, sometimes it takes a mess to realize you need to clean. And the best part about it is after I was done cleaning, it was cleaner afterwards than it was before the mess even started. Right? And I just felt I just felt the presence of God over me that day and I was just like, yes, yes. And I just kept striving forward and I was able to put out the video there for you today. I'll put the link down below if you haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah, that was a good one. Those of you who have these messes in your lives, massive messes, and you're just not, not sure how you're gonna clean it up, you know, like you're you're constantly just being attacked left and right. You just I mean, like, okay. God never gave you fear, right? God never gave you anxiety, right? God never gave you worry. That's not of him, right? He's telling you, hey, don't worry because I got you, all right? All you got to know, all you got to do is know that I got you and then I got you, okay? No matter what, because he, he, he's, he, he, okay, you, you, you literally got to imagine walking around and you have this just behemoth of a man, just concrete cracking mountain moving, just massive colossus behind you, following you, that loves you so much, right? That, that, that loves you more than you can like ever love your own children, right? Uh, uh, and, and everywhere you go, yeah, sure, everything's trying to attack you everything and you're constantly getting reminded and and, and and that you're ah you're getting attacked but these things that are attacking you these people that are attacking you are a little old frail malnourished bones and you can see the ribs of their ribs and you know they, they got nothing are you gonna be afraid no because you have you have this this colossus here that's just flicking them away like ants right that's the mentality that you have to have he, 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 Jesus has my back, right? And he has yours too, right? And that, that's the equivalent of it. There's literally like a child just, just, just punching out ants that are, that are just trying to attack you. That's how you, have to, that, that's how you have to think. That's how you have to feel that you have to know. You can't just hope, you know? You have to know that he's in you. He's got your back and he's crushing these ants every corner you turn. All right, because yeah, sure, you may get reminded that you're getting attacked all the time, but they can't hurt you, right? He's put that armor above you. He, he he's put he he has that he's protecting you, right? He's surrounding you, right? So nothing nothing can penetrate his armor, right? You just got to remember that, right? Because he he's got you. So I guess I'm just gonna leave today's video with a big thank you to you guys who you know are sticking with me through these videos. My subscribers, I woke up, I got like five of them. What? Right? Thank you guys. I'm gonna keep trying to bring you know good material and keep bringing you you know God's word and how He's using me. You know, uh, uh, please uh, talk to me down low, down below. You know, uh, uh, let's have a conversation, um, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.